Meanwhile, FBI investigators now have a search warrant to review thousands of emails that may have passed through Hillary Clinton's private email server while she was Secretary of State. Those emails were found on a laptop shared by longtime Clinton aide Huma Abedin and her estranged husband, Anthony Weiner. On Friday, FBI Director James Comey sent a letter to Congress saying that he didn't know yet if the emails were significant or not. This has left Republican nominee Donald Trump applauding the FBI's efforts and Clinton calling for the release of more information. Now the FBI has found, you're not going to believe this one, this just happened, another 650,000 emails. How do you get to 650? I think that's called the mother load. I think they found them all. The director himself has said he doesn't know whether the emails referenced in his letter are significant or not. You have amazing people in the Department of Justice, and you have amazing people in the FBI. These are great, great people. Voters deserve to get full and complete facts. And so we've called on Director Comey to explain everything right away, put it all out on the table, right? Anna Palmer is a senior Washington correspondent for Politico, co-author of the Politico Playbook. Good enough to join us now. And Anna, I want to get your take here on what seems essentially role reversal on the part of uh, both campaigns. Uh, Donald Trump uh, deeply critical of uh, James Comey's decision over the summer not to pursue a case against Clinton. Uh, that tune certainly changed. In fact, Kellyanne Conway, his campaign manager, is now saying it's dangerous and unfair to criticize him, something that uh, the Democratic candidate and her surrogates uh, spent the weekend doing. What do you make of the reactions from both? I don't think they're very surprising, right? I mean, basically, this is politics. They're fighting it out, right, eight, eight days until Election Day. And so you're going to see Trump go on the offense. This is the first time where he's kind of been sticking to his script, and they have caught Clinton in kind of a weak moment because the, the, Comey hasn't put out any information. And so there's very little for the Clinton camp to react to, except for the fact that there's frustration that they're doing this right before the election. Now, in a Washington Post op-ed, former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder said, and I quote, uh, that James Comey committed a serious error with potentially severe implications. Again, that uh, has really been a variation of the response through the weekend. Uh, very specifically, though, with regard to uh, Director Comey's decision to send this letter to Congress, having not yet obtained a warrant, how do you think that, uh, if nothing else, muddies the picture here? Well, Democrats certainly are criticizing him. You saw Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid call into question whether or not he was in violation of the Hatch Act, where a government employee would be political right before an election. And so you're going to see this kind of hammered home from Democrats and you know, Clinton surrogates in terms of that this is, could be dangerous, that there is no, you know, there's no there there. And without any information right now, a lot of us are just left speculating about what could potentially be in these emails. Well, then, as it regards the concrete impact on the race here, the real politic involved, former Obama senior advisor, campaign manager David Plouffe tweeted this, and I quote yesterday, Clinton passed the 300 plus electoral votes, rock solid, structure of race not affected by Comey's reckless irresponsibility, vote and volunteer, don't fret or wet, and tweet. Uh, what do you ultimately uh, what do you believe and frankly what do you think the campaigns believe is the real tangible impact of this news Pluff certainly has a way with words. Uh, so we actually came out this morning with a new Politico morning consult poll that was in the field Saturday and Sunday after the news broke. And what we what that poll found was that among registered voters, that the, the race is still basically the same, that she is up three points against Donald Trump that is unchanged from what we saw before. And I think what you're seeing in the upshot this morning as well, reporting that you know she's 90% likely chances of being the next president, the question is really going to be does this impact down ballot races, the Senate, the House, where you know the Republicans have been on defense, kind of trying to defend or distance themselves from Trump, and now they have something else to focus on. Uh, quickly, I want to get your response as well to the letter sent by uh, Senator Harry Reid to Comey, accusing the director of breaking the law, but also uh, saying that uh, the FBI is sitting on explosive information about coordination between Donald Trump's campaign and the Russian government. Again, certainly explosive if true. What do you make of the inclusion of this passage in this letter? 
you know, I'm not sure exactly what he's referring to. I don't think that there's any smoking gun that we have, at least in the press scene so far, that the FBI is hiding behind. But, you know, certainly this is an ability for Reid and Democrats to try to push the FBI and turn the page that it's not on Clinton, but it's on Russia and their you know, potential connections to the Trump campaign. We have certainly seen that pivot before. Politico's Anna Palmer, as always, we do appreciate the insight. Thanks so much.